pipelines because it's not just these pipelines being shut down. And you just mentioned how we're about to lose contracts for U.S. ships to carry uh, the oil up and down the rivers. That'll be given to Chinese companies. And this country is being sold out right now. Alex, I think what you're doing is where it starts. Just keep bringing the truth to people and eventually the truth will prevail. Uh, stick with the American innovation. We will do well. It's going to be a battle, but we will win. All right, folks, you can find the book uh, available at caseyresearch.com or colderwar.com. Thank you so much for the time, Mr. Katusa. My pleasure. Anytime, Alex. All right, there he goes. I'm going to go right to your calls, Walt and uh, others like John that have been patiently holding. Then I'll get to all this other news. More snow forecasts for the uh, East Coast. The New York Times said no more snow in the East uh, last year. Said the end of snow was the headline. Uh, also, Obama's goal to destroy ISIS, unrealistic, unattainable, Gates says. Well, of course not. They've funded the stinking thing. And then state legislators considering more than 200 bills to block federal power. That's some good news. Don't play Lord of the Rings at school and imagine your ring makes you invisible. You might get kicked out of school or arrested uh, right now because we're such a free country. Walt in Michigan, you're on the air. Go ahead. Hey, Alex. How are you doing today? Good. Thanks for holding, brother. Okay, uh, I want to read something that was printed in 1897 by ex-secretary of the Navy, Richard Thompson, about the breaking down of the family unit. Yes. It's been going on a long time. This is what he said. It's only a couple sentences. Apart from this governing authority, universal equality prevailed. The principles of socialism or communism, very much as now understood, governed all the reduction. Guess where that was at, Alex? I don't know. That was, in Paraguay. that was in Paraguay from 1600 to 1756, and the reductions were ruled by the Jesuits. Wow, do me a favor. Read to me that, that quote again. Apart from this governing authority, universal equality prevailed. The principles of socialism or communism, very much as now understood, governed all the reduction. That's on page 175, and the rest of the sentence is on page 176, where it says they had everything in common, and men and women were equally trained to become experts. And they separated men, women, and children, and indoctrinated the children separate from their parents, and the priest became the parents. And yes, I'm aware, I'm aware that in uh, plantations in the Caribbean and Central and South America, as carried out by the Catholic Church at that time, that the models that we see in the great society and the rest of it today even go back to ancient uh, Roman systems of control on plantations. You have the Spartacus you know, uprising and the rest of it against that. Uh, that's a real uprising that actually happened, folks. It's not just a Stanley Kubrick movie. Uh, and, and, and yes, to end the family unit uh, with the plantation slaves, they didn't call them slaves, they just were slaves, uh, they would then have men in one area, women in another, and children in another, just as North Korea does. Uh, so this is a model of enslavement that's been used for thousands of years. There was a book written by Sir Thomas More, M-O-R-E, who was beheaded for his treason in England. He was a Jesuit. Uh, Jesuit co-adjutor that worked with uh, the Vatican to get control of England. And he wrote a book called Utopia that was used by the Jesuits to control 330,000 Garandi Indians for over 150 years. It took two combined armies from Portugal and Spain to take the Jesuits out of power in Paraguay. It took them over two years to do it. And then Pope Clement XIV outlawed the Jesuit order because of their corrupt activity in 1773. No, I knew that, and you're not supposed to have a Jesuit as the Pope either. Again, I'm not a Catholic basher. It's a very diverse group of people, but there's no doubt that the, this this new Pope, I mean, might as well be, I mean, Lenin or something. I mean, it's just unbelievable. I mean, I and look, the stuff he's saying is basically the opposite of the last Pope, so I don't want to hear all this business that I'm just bashing Popes here. I mean, this guy is really pushing it. And uh, he's an admitted socialist, Jesuit, Leninist, Marxist. God help us. I mean, it's just on every front. And you got the Protestant churches pushing the same garbage. I mean, evil is making its move. That's all I know.
And I'm glad you brought that up. Yeah, I was familiar with, uh, I've been down to the, uh, some of the missions in San Antonio and, and, and read about stuff down there. It's pretty much the same deal. Attention Alex Jones listeners. When you're on the road or have limited data or Wi-Fi, now you can listen to Alex Jones unfiltered and untapped at no extra charge on this non-federal phone number. 1-605-562-5136. Try it now to listen to Alex Jones 24-7 at no extra cost or data charges. These are not on federal lines. These are lines located on Indian reservations off the grid. Call 1-605-562-5136. No smartphones or internet needed. To hear Alex Jones untapped and off the grid, just call 1-605-562-5136. Hear about Ghost 80% AR-15 rifle kits? At Guns80.com, they are the 80% specialists, helping to protect our privacy. Look, there are forces out there right now trying to register guns for future confiscation. UN treaties threatening our Second Amendment, our freedom. You need a Ghost AR-15. Get it at Guns80.com. Call 844-2-GUNS-80. That's 844-248-6780. Own an AR-15 today and keep it a secret. Go to Guns80.com. That's Guns80.com. 844-2-GUNS-80. Year after year, we watch the threat steadily increase. And now, this winter has been the worst on record when it comes to our immune systems and health. For more than two years, InfoWarsLife.com has been watching this crisis intensify. And Ancient Defense Herbal Immunity Complex was our answer. Using a proprietary process that takes ancient proven herbs and combines them with modern science, this powerful and affordable formula contains more than 14 key herbs and extracts, including... Echinacea, ginger root, elderberry, golden seal root, a proprietary yin chio formula, and many, many more. I take it, and so does my family. It's made in the USA, gluten-free, alcohol-free, no artificial flavors or colors, and not tested on animals. Take advantage of this introductory offer for ancient defense, normally $19.95, now only $14.95. That's 25% off. Visit InfoWarsLife.com or call 888-253-3139 to secure your ancient defense. American gardeners and fellow patriots make the right choice with your money, time, and your family food supply. Choose 100% pure heirloom seeds in the Survival Seed Vault from MyPatriotSupply.com. Why spend more? The Survival Seed Vault from MyPatriotSupply.com is only $37.95 and includes 20 varieties of pure, hardy, easy-to-grow heirloom seeds. Yes, only $37.95. That's 70% less than our competitors. You could buy three Survival Seed Vaults for less than one of theirs. The Survival Seed Vault from MyPatriotSupply.com includes detailed planting and seed saving instructions and ship same day plus all orders over $49 ship free mypatriotsupply.com is american owned by patriots like you passionate about freedom and preparedness call now 866-229-0927 that's 866-229-0927 or discover more emergency preparedness items when you order at mypatriotsupply.com choose the original choose the survival seed vault at mypatriotsupply.com Worried about getting sick and feeling terrible for days or even weeks? You need Immudine for a healthy immune system. Why get sick and bother with products that just don't work? For just a dollar a day, Immudine is all natural and safe for all lifestyles. Call 866-257-8668 to buy now before it's too late, before you get sick. Or go to immudyne.com, immudine.com, or call 866-257-8668. We the people grow cotton, weave fabric, engrave ink, embed strips and fibers to protect from counterfeit and carting to a private bank, having it lent back at interest, forcing taxes to service debt. This capitalism, or was Jefferson correct when stating a central bank issuing the public currency is a greater menace to the liberties of the people than a standing army? Ted Anderson, I'm placing a free silver dollar in a book that explains our monetary system. Call for your copy, 800-686-2237. It's time to understand the system. Call 800-686-2237. That's 800-686-2237. different systems throughout civilization to control populations and turn humans into nothing but barnyard animals. We're only taught in the United States about black people being slaves. Because that's just a nice new way to divide and conquer. And while you're busy focusing on that, having hundreds of textbooks on that, there's no textbooks out there on global slavery, human management, systems of control. This broadcast is here to try to get people to be aware of these systems of control so that you're aware of it. And when you see 
feminism pushed everywhere, it's, it's men against women, so that women think they get ahead by men not getting ahead. They don't want you thinking in a win-win mentality. This is the essence of these parasites. And look at this article. All new female Ghostbusters cast chosen. Well, great. If you had a hit movie, a show like Charlie's Angels, that was originally about women, imagine if they came out with a new thing like Charlie's Angels and it's all guys. No, the message is it's bad that you had a male cast. Of course, in the movie, orbited around Sigourney Weaver. As if of a movie, and, and, and I see these articles admitting that there's all this pressure to make sure in the rating system that you have women as the, as, as, as the heroes. I mean, women are already heroes in a bunch of stuff. But the point is, is that it's so that women, it's like uh, you know, different black groups wanting to have more black movies win Oscars. I mean, as if that's the only world out there that in the entertainment, you've got to, I mean, if people go out and see movies that are the types they like, you'll see more of those movies. It isn't, oh, let's put a whole cast of women in. In fact, I predict this, this, this Ghostbusters movie gets hyped, gets pushed, and that it's not a tenth as successful as the original. Because I know these women that are the, uh, these people aren't funny. They're not as funny as the cast of Ghostbusters. I'm sorry. But, but there's an example of just everything is about feminism. Everything is about race because it doesn't matter. It's a distraction. Well, the real world is Warren Buffett shutting off a pipeline so he makes billions of dollars a month off of it, off shipping it by train. That's the real world. People are like, I don't care about that. I don't own trains. Well, you pay for the fuel, Dumbo. You're like, well, uh, it's pretty low right now. Not when they're done with this oil war. It's going to be triple. Our forebears weren't perfect, but they were into how things worked, and they didn't like being cheated. And they sat around reading the newspaper, having discussions about what they were going to do. They got mad when somebody tried to cheat them. And they built a powerful civilization because they weren't chumps. We are building a civilization that I call chumped them, schmucked them. where you can go out in California and get every person you talk to to sign a petition. That wasn't edited, folks. That's who he talked to. To make uh, someone making $80,000 a year pay for their free veterinary bills. As if it's going to be free. They smile and go, you mean I get it free? Yeah, I want that. How sick is that? How free? Hey, sign this petition and we'll give you your neighbor's television. It's the same thing. Rich in Oregon, then we're going to go to John, Matt, and others. Go ahead. You're on the air, Rich. Hello, how are you today, Alex? I'm good, brother. Hey, I got, a, I got a statement to make to you about Super Bowl. What's wrong with Super Bowl? You know what? They should have it two, three times a week. That way we can all be spectators, you know, like we're supposed to be. You know, we could all build big fences in our backyards where nobody could see over, not even drones coming in. And what's wrong with learning how to run like females, you know, or be a, a female if that's what you want to be? I mean, I always could fit you, I'm sure. You know, I just stay here and tell everybody about Alex Jones. That's a little humor, by the way. Oh, I understand, I stay brother. Here and tell everybody about, I, I stay here and tell everybody about Alex Jones, and you can't get anybody. I've got three people to share my account with me in the last year. Because everybody's too busy. You know, nobody wants to hear the truth. Well, you know what? I'm out here in North Dakota. I've been out here for a year working in the Bakken. And uh, I can tell you, it has really slowed down. I went from four or 500 bucks a day down to barely two. And that's going to have a chain reaction throughout the economy. They're saying this oil bust may push us into a depression. Well, I'll tell you what, dude. I don't know what, you know what, the prices haven't went down. Well, I know, especially up there, it, it's harder to ship the stuff in, even though you're bringing it out raw, it's getting refined, and by the time they bring it back to you, it's high. Because you know how they're bringing it to you, by rail, an old Buffett boy brings most of it in, so he makes all that money off everybody. It's all a big joke. Anything else, Rich?
Yeah, we need to keep Keystone out because we have a way to get rid of the oil out here. And you know what? Then it wouldn't be $28 a barrel. Hey, thanks. God bless you. God bless you, brother. More calls coming up. Stay with us. We're on the march.